and Governor John Radcliffe from Pocahontas have quite a few similarities. Though Cogsworth is a good character and Radcliffe is a villain, they look alike. Both have a frilly sense of fashion, with distinct mustaches and very proper diction. Before being enchanted into a clock, Cogsworth was the butler of the Beast's castle and still tries to maintain tradition, order, and control. Similarly, Radcliffe dominates the Jamestown colonists with an iron fist and holds stubbornly to rules. Here is Cogsworth. Well, if you ask me, she was just being stubborn. After all, he would say, please. But if the master doesn't learn to control that temper, he'll never break it. Splendid to see you out and about, mademoiselle. I am Cogsworth, head of the household. This is Lumiere. Enchanté, chérie. If there's something, anything we please, can do to make your stay more comfortable. Ow! I am a little hungry. You are? Fear that. She's hungry. Stoke the fire. Break out the silver. Wait the china. Remember what the master said? Oh, please stop. I'm not about to let the poor child go hungry. All oh, right, fine. Glass of water, crust of bread, and then... Dogsworth, I am surprised at you. She's not a prisoner. She's our guest. We must make her feel welcome here. Right this way, mademoiselle. Well, keep it down. If the master finds out about this, it will be our neck. Of course, of course. But what is dinner without a little music? Music! And Governor Radcliffe. Trouble on deck. Governor Radcliffe. Thomas fell overboard, sir. Thank heavens he's been successfully retrieved. Well done, Smith. Thank you, sir. Don't lose heart, men. It won't be long before we reach the new world. And remember what awaits us there. Freedom. Wow. Prosperity. Wow, wow. The adventure of our lives. You're the finest crew England has to offer, and nothing, not wind, nor rain, nor a thousand bloodthirsty savages shall stand in our way. Carry on, man. A stirring oration, sir. I'm sure the men were most exhilarated. <laughs> Let us hope so. I'll need those witless peasants to dig up my gold, won't I? Both characters were voiced by and modeled after American actor David Ogden Stiers. Here he is in his most recognizable live-action role as Major Charles Winchester on M.A.S.H. I don't believe it. A pool ball? Yep. In the mouth? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, come on, Charles. Where's your Halloween spirit? <laughs> Halloween spirit? <laughs> At any moment, a wounded soldier could come in here truly needing my services. What am I doing? I am treating some leather brain who literally decided to have a ball. I will show him some Halloween spirit. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Winchester, and your name is? Would that be with one M or two? Of course, three. Now then, what seems to be the problem? Yeah. Zooks, do you realize you have something in your mouth? What on earth could that be? No sweat. There is an alternative. I'll just take your temperature the other way. Steyer's distinct voice gave life to many animated characters, including the Archdeacon in The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Frodo, you will not touch her. Don't worry. Minister Frodo learned years ago to respect the sanctity of the church. Don't act rashly, my child. You created quite a stir at the festival. It would be unwise to arouse Frodo's anger further. What do they have against people who are different anyway? You can't right all the wrongs of this world by yourself. Well, no one out there is going to help, that's for sure. Well, perhaps there's someone in here who can. And Jumba in Leland Stitch. Come back here, you little... Oh, uh, hiding behind your little friend won't work anymore. Didn't I tell you? We got fired this morning. <laughs> your rules. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what's the big deal? Und put you back together again. I'll make you taller and not so fluffy. Let me know about your favorite Disney doppelgangers in the comments. Check out my channel and subscribe for more Disney doppelgangers and other fun videos. Thank you for watching. Two of Disney's dandiest supervisors, Cogsworth from Beauty and the Beast and Governor John Radcliffe from Pocahontas, have quite a few similarities. Though Cogsworth is a good character and Radcliffe is a villain, they look alike. Both have a frilly sense of fashion, with distinct mustaches and very proper diction. Before being enchanted into a clock, Cogsworth was the butler of the Beast's castle and still tries to maintain tradition, order, and control. Similarly, Radcliffe dominates the Jamestown colonists with an iron fist and holds stubbornly to rules. Here is Cogsworth. Well, if you ask me, she was just being stubborn. After all, he would say, please. But if the master doesn't learn to control that temper, he'll never break it. Splendid to see you out and about, mademoiselle. I am Cogsworth, head of the household. 
This is Lumiere. Enchanté, chérie. If there's something, anything we please, can do to make your stay more comfortable. Ow! I am a little hungry. You are? Feel that? She's hungry. Stoke the fire. Break out the silver. Wait the china. Remember what the master said? Oh, pish -tosh. I'm not about to let the poor child go hungry. All oh, right, fine. Glass of water, crust of bread, and then... Dogsworth, I am surprised at you. She's not a prisoner. She's our guest. We must make her feel welcome here. Right this way, mademoiselle. Well, keep it down.